Welcome to the Learning Voice and IVR Studio video tutorial series. This series will demonstrate how to use IVR Studio as well as setting up some common telephone applications. This first video will cover IVR Studio's user interface. We will begin with the file menu. All IVR Studio projects must have exactly one root element. Its type will depend on the application you are designing. Click New. The inbound call root element is for creating an inbound caller answering system such as a PBX system. The outbound call root element is used to create outbound call applications which can be used by the voice and gateway dialer. The broadcast by phone root element is for creating multi-level outbound applications that can be imported by voice and broadcast by phone software package. The auto reminder root element is for creating multi-level reminder applications that can be imported by voice and auto reminder software package. The inbound and outbound SMS root element is for creating cell phone text messages capable of sending and receiving SMS texts. This requires voices broadcast by SMS software or module. The import from Flex PBX option will allow you to import your pre-existing Flex PBX menu system for advanced editing. Now let's take a look at the edit menu. The Add Next Element option allows you to add a child element to the currently selected element. The Prompt element is for playing a standard text-to-speech or pre-recorded message. The Choice element will allow setup of a standard 0 through 9 touch tone option. It passes the call to whichever child element is set up to receive the pressed key input. The Speech element will allow the menu to ask for a speech input such as Say Operator to be transferred to an operator. The digits element allows the menu to accept variable length numeric input. This can be used for accepting credit card numbers, passwords, or any multiple digit entries. The record element will allow call recording operations such as setting up a voicemail system. The call transfer element will allow the callee to transfer the call to an agent or phone number. The go to element allows the menu developer to go to any other element previously created. The extensions options are used to edit agent extensions. Extensions can also be forwarded to other phone numbers. The properties option allows you to access the selected elements user interface. Next we have the audio menu. The record audio by phone tool allows the developer to call in pre-recorded audio to use in messages. The create audio by text to speech tool allows the developer to create pre-recorded wave files by simply typing into a text box. Now, the library menu. The library menu has common, pre-designed code snippets that can be edited into custom menus. Here's the deploy menu. After an IVR application is complete, it must be validated to check for errors. Only after the application passes validation can it be submitted to the gateway. Next we have the view menu. The view menu allows customization of IVR's user interface. And lastly, we have the help menu. The help menu is where you'll go to find links to IVR's help topics, as well as where you can request product licensing and report a problem. This will wrap up the first video in the introduction to IVR Studio series. In the next video, we'll discuss call flow diagrams, as well as creating a password-protected phone answering system.